Okay. Next, I want to show you the ruler mouse modifiers in Reaper. The ruler mouse modifiers are what happens when we click up here. In the ruler, whether we click, drag, or double click. Now, keep in mind, a lot of these modifiers are similar to the media mouse modifiers and the track mouse modifiers. And that's by design. So by having them be redundant or the same, we could change a few of them or customize them to work with our personal preference. So by having them be redundant, it gives us more options. So let's take a look at them. Right over here, the context is ruler. We're going to start off with left click. And by default, it's set to move edit cursor. So if we click up here, it's going to move the edit cursor which is the same or similar behavior in clicking in the track. So as I mentioned, it's a good idea to change some of them to customize them for your needs. So we could do that right here. We can move the edit cursor, ignoring snap. We can extend loop points, which is the default when holding down shift. So if we make a time selection, we can click on this side or this side to extend the time selection, or inside as well. We could extend the loop points ignoring snap. We could clear the loop points. If there's a loop point here, we can click in the ruler and it clears it. We could seek playback without moving the edit cursor. So if the track is playing, we could click up here and it reseeks it or starts playing again, but it doesn't change the edit cursor. That still stays here. Just click in the ruler and it reseeks from there, which is the default behavior while holding down Option or Alt on the PC. And we can restore a previous zoom or scroll, which is not the default of any modifiers. We could zoom in, click up here, and it jumps back to a previous zoom or scroll. And finally, once again, we have our action list. Let's type in mixer, and we can choose to toggle the mixer, its visibility. So now we could click up here, and the mixer opens up. I pushed it over to the left to view one track at a time, but we can view it just by clicking the ruler or hide it the same way. Click it, it goes away, click it again, it comes back. It's kind of handy. So those are the left clicks, but we also have the left drags. By default, it's gonna edit the loop point. Right now, I have the loop point and the time selection linked. So our time selection and loop points are the same. But if we separated it, dragging up here just changes our loop point. And that's by default. But again, we can change it. We could ignore snap. We can move the loop points, which is the default while holding down shift. Let's link them up again. And now if I drag up here, it moves the time selection or the loop points. We can move the loop points ignoring snap. We can edit the loop point and time selection together. And this one's kind of interesting. Even if this is unlinked, it's still going to do both. At least up here. Down here, it doesn't. So if you want to do both, Choose that as a default, and you can do both in the ruler. You can also achieve that by holding down Option on the Mac or Alt on the PC. We could do the same thing, ignoring Snap. We can move the loop points and time selection together, even if they're not linked. We can move them together, ignoring Snap. And one of my favorites is hand scroll and horizontal zoom. These can be added together. 
Let's start with hand scroll. And again, there's no default for this. So this is a hidden feature. It doesn't show up here. So if we go to our ruler, it turns into a hand, and we can hand scroll like this. It's a nice way of scrolling just by clicking and dragging. And we can add to that right here, horizontal zoom. So it'll work together. If we go left to right or vertical, it hand scrolls. But if we go up and down, it zooms in and out horizontally. Two functions in one area. And we could turn off hand scroll and it'll just horizontally zoom up and down. But if we go left and right, it doesn't do anything. And in addition to these two, it can also move the edit cursor. So when we drag it, the edit cursor moves to where we grabbed over here, but it still will hand scroll and horizontally zoom. So that's the left drag. Let's put this back and let's check out double clicking. By default, it's going to set loop points to our region. Let's make a region right here. And let's make another one over here. So now if we double click in our ruler, it sets the loop points to our region. Do it over here, the same thing. Now again, they're linked. If they weren't, it just does the loop points, not the time selection. Time selection is still separate. But if they're linked, It'll do both. And we can change it to set time selection to region. So if they're not linked, and we double click, it sets a time selection to the region. But again, if they're linked, it'll do both. We can set it for both our loop points and our time selection, which is going to do both even if it's not linked. We can restore our previous zoom scroll, which again has no default with our modifiers, so it's kind of hidden. We'll zoom in. We'll double click over here, and it reverts back to our previous zoom or scroll. Double click it again, it goes back another level. And again, we have our action lists. So we can set this up to be our mixer. Now we can double click. It opens up the mixer. Double click again. It hides the mixer. So there's so many different places of doing the same things. We just have to pick our preference. Now I should also mention underneath the ruler, we have the ruler. Marker region names. This is the area above here. Not down here, but up here. Let's delete the regions. Up in these lanes up here. These also have options, but they're just for left drag. By default, it's going to hand scroll. So we go up here, it'll hand scroll just like we did before with our ruler but it's up here. And like before, we could add options. Hand scroll and horizontal zoom. This will hand scroll up and down will horizontally zoom. And that's on by default when you hold down command on the Mac or control on the PC, but we can change it to be at default. And we could also Move the edit cursor as well. So dragging up here moves the edit cursor, as well as hand scrolling 
and horizontally zooming. So anyway, that's the ruler mouse modifiers in Reaper. In the next video, we're going to check out some of the envelope mouse modifiers.